This young lady's asked me if I would show you some uh, harmonics. And uh, there are several different techniques that I use. Uh, let me just run you through some of them. All, all guitars have harmonics. You can hear them there. harmonics wherever I can if, if I can fit it into a song. Um, but I also use these style of, of, of harmonics which are called cascading harmonics. And listening to Chet Atkins records when I was young. Um, he did a great version of Summer Over the Rainbow on um, uh, the album Chet Atkins Goes to the Movies. And um, the song started out with the bass guitar actually playing the melody and Chet playing the harmonics underneath it and it sounded like this. Uh, So I want to show you how you can make that sound. The key to making it sound good is that the natural note and the harmonic ring against one another. So one isn't louder than the other and one isn't bigger than the other. So you get um, this shape here. that takes control and you know what uh, gives you control strength in this hand this is what you got to work on you got to work on the physical strength of being able to hold these positions for a long period and your hand will ache like hell when you first start doing this you're gonna love the sound but you're gonna hate the, the what it's gonna do to your left hand but you got to go through it to in order to get that. So let me show you another position. I'll just take like a D ninth position. Okay? And I'm gonna spell spell out what notes I'm playing. So I'm picking the harmonic with my thumb, right? And I'm fretting it. Here's if I if I spell out that shape in harmonics. I'm going to make this sound. Okay, I'll show you how I get that sound. I start out, but with my third finger, I'm playing the open note. So, there it is. A D note. It's a, the D chord, uh, sorry. The D string, the, sh the note is actually an F sharp. There it is there, right? It's part of that. So, here we go. Four, six, three, five, two, four, one, three. 
see that? And yet they're all ringing into one another, right? So. Now the key to doing this so it sounds good, the further you can get your thumb away from where the finger strikes the harmonic, the better. If you put them too close together, you'll choke all the sound out of them, the harmonic. So you get... See, my hand is open there and I'm doing that. Cazzarola, eh? <laughs> I'm taking, I'm barring across on the fifth fret. This is an A minor ninth sound or a C major seventh, whatever you want to call it. Now, in order for me to get these triplets that I'm playing, what I'm doing is I'm hitting a harmonic on the third string. Now I'm playing an open note there and the third note is there. It's a pull-off. So you get... See that? That's how you get that sound. spelling out the shapes up the octave. If you want to see the technique without the left hand, I'll just do the right hand technique for you. I'm using the harmonics on the 12th fret, okay? This is as basic as it gets. So, harmonic, open note, harmonic, open note. So, they all ring into one another. I'm picking the harmonic with my thumb and I'm playing the open note with my third finger. Okay. If I want to make it a major seventh, I just go here. And I get... Yes, sir. 